So guys, for the first method, you're gonna head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. See if that works for you. If that's still not working for the second method, you're gonna head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you can follow everything that I'm gonna be doing up here. So first you're gonna expand HK local machine. Now you're gonna expand system. Now you're gonna expand current control set. Now we're gonna expand control. Now you're gonna find power. You're gonna click on the power folder. So we're just gonna scroll down till we find power. Here it is, you're gonna click on the power folder. And now this will appear on the right side. Again, you can follow everything that I did up here. Now once you're on this, you should be having something called CS enabled. If you do not have CS enabled, then we're gonna create it. So you wanna right click on the white space and then click on new and then click on D word for each bit value. We're gonna call this CS enabled. Spell it with the same capitals and lowercase as I did and then click on enter. And now you want to double click on CS enabled. Make sure that in this box right here, you have the number zero. So make sure where it says value data in this box, you have the number zero and then click on okay. Now you just wanna restart your computer and then this should not fix your problem. 